When playing Kerbal Space Program in career mode, you not only face physical challenges but also financial ones, as launching rockets also cost funds. I previously made a video estimating how much energy one electric charge is worth, and it was inevitable that someone would ask for a video on Kerbal funds. Though this has been over a year, but here we are. I also asked you guys for some ideas and methods to calculate this, considering there are various approaches. The challenge lies in the fact that Kerbal society is very different from ours. There are no cities on Kerbal, and their sole industry is their space program. So we'll have to imagine an entire economy in the background making all of this possible. To calculate the value of funds in dollars, one method I found on the Kerbal forums, and also mentioned by you guys, involves comparing the cost of liquid oxygen in the game to what NASA pays for it in real life. This method results in one fund being equal to $4.4. And this seems rather low in my opinion when you build other rockets. Another approach is by building rockets in KSP with capabilities similar to real life rockets and comparing their costs. For example, we can build a rocket capable of getting multiple Kerbals to the moon and back and compare that to the space launch system designed to get people to our moon and back. If I build a rocket like this, it costs a bit more than 53,000 funds. The SLS costs around 2 billion dollars per launch, resulting in an exchange rate of about 1 fund per 41,000 dollars. This shows a difference of 4 orders of magnitude compared to the liquid oxygen approach. We can also compare engines in the game with their real life counterparts. Comparing the S3 KS25X4 Mammoth with the SSME the Space Shuttle main engine, or the RS-25, seems to be the best approach since we know the pricing very well. The engine block used for the SLS, or Artemis V, currently cost $100 million to manufacture. This means one fund should be about $2600. So all of these methods yield vastly different results, differing by orders of magnitude. If we take our highest estimate of $41,000 per one fund, it would mean that a modular girder segment costs almost $1 million, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. Similarly, the 2 hot thermometer would cost around $37 million. These values are not at all realistic, clearly. In the end, it's evident that all the pricing in the game was done for game balancing reasons, and unfortunately, there is no single exchange rate. So this was a bit of a shorter video, but not to worry. If you haven't checked the video on determining the value of one electric charge, click here. And I also have a video on the effects of black holes and the danger they pose to Kerbals. So be sure to check that one out as well.